Welcome to my most defendable base so far. A Giga Chad shell base that will last the duration of any wipe. The Arcadia. With a full upkeep between three TCs, this base can be easily managed by a dedicated solo or a chilled duo. So we're starting off on top of one of the two disconnectable TCs at the side of the base. Um, the reason is the doors are at the side, the entrance at the side, should I say. So this is a disconnectable TC. I'll show you how to disconnect it and reconnect it in the build. That's the external TC itself. I won't show you the cost of that because I've just shown the full cost of all three together. You come into your gatehouse. As you can see, you've got a turret to the left and a turret to the right for 360 degree angles. And you've got a chain link fence gate, which I struggle to say for some reason. Uh, that's just obviously to slow any mobility down of any potential raiders. Here you've got a bedroom, and some peaks at the side. Make sure you've got a hammer in there to uh, take off the window. And show you here the turrets that are inside the shell also cover the compound so that's really good so we're coming to the shell now you've got two lockers but obviously you can have whatever you like in here and two auto turrets one this side and one the other side and peaks here i imagine you've all seen these peaks before And we carry on going around the shell. This is the other side of the base, obviously. So we'll go inside the base now. I've got a furnace jump up here because I've got like three ladder hatches in this base and people moan at me if I have too many. So I've got a furnace jump up there. And this floor, we've got the battery, some storage, a repair bench. And you've got two ladder hatches going onto the roof. Sorry, onto the shooting floor. So a couple on the shooting floor now. We've got a wide gap peak here. See how much coverage you've got there of, of the compound. As well as outside the base. And then you've got your floor take back. Uh, your roof take backs. Whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. What am I, a builder? And obviously you've got the same on the opposite side. I can't even, can't even close the ladder hatch. I'm not even a rust player. So you've got the same over there. Got two doors that aren't identical for some unknown reason. You've got four of these um, ramp peaks. See here, here, and the opposite side here and you've got these Goliath peaks which are really good I love these and these also have head glitches on in them like that so that's your shooting floor um, I absolutely love that shooting floor it's so hard to online raid this base so difficult you can see everywhere there's tourists everywhere and then we come up to the roof. And you've got another double bedroom here and a locker. And you've got a working vending machine here. Just take out the window to use it. And you've got two turrets on the roof covering that vending machine as well. So it's quite secure. One turret there, one turret there. And obviously you can run all the way around your roof like so and jump up here and um, this this roof is absolutely brilliant for taking back a compound if it gets compromised so let's go back into the base now then and into core
You see there, you got three electric furnaces. And this is coming into a two by one. So we can have this any way you like. You got your tier three, another electric furnace, because it's handy to have it there. Two sleeping bags and a locker. And plenty of storage. I'll show you the TC. Hopefully you're still with me. If you are, let's get into the build. Starting off with a simple 2 by one Now, I uh, don't have an airlock because I play as a solo player, so I have double doors. So if you want an airlock, you feel free, go ahead. I'm going to put garage doors down straight away just to save time on the video so you're not like watching a 45 minute video. Put your TC down and make sure it's to the corner. And go around and put a shelf on. And there you have your starter base. So you want two triangles at the front. And you're going to have a standard jump up here. Now you will have to have a garage door on this one when you're in game. Because you won't be able to jump up with a double door. But it doesn't matter too much because we're going to put a uh, jump up on anyway. And that's going to be doored off. I don't even know if doored off is a word, but. Now we're going to put the honeycomb down. Three triangles at the front and a triangle each side. And wall it in. And at the front, we're going to have a furnace jump up. Okay, so here is where you're going to have your loot room or one of your loot rooms. Obviously, you don't put the um, window frame down until you put your boxes in. And here's where your battery's going to go. And again, don't put the window on this until you've got the battery down. And wall yourself in there. Two double door frames. And these at the end will be your um, jump ups. Where you're going to have your ladder hatches. For now, obviously, you can just have furnace jump ups. Don't be doing that. There you go, nice secure base. Now I've upgraded everything to its final materials. As you can see. So we're going to start on the shell. You want three squares there and triangles in between them. And you want to replicate that. It's going to be 
this. I want to replicate that on the back. Three squares. And triangles in the middle. So now we'll go over to the side of the base. And you want a twig. And you want a triangle. Two squares. I'll cap top of the triangle and delete back. And then just come back with three triangles and two triangles each side of the final triangle. And then upgrade that to stone. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So they will decay um, while they don't have an external TC on them. So just bear that in mind. I'm going to do this first. If you want a double door frame where the square is. Two windows either side and then two walls. You want double door frames at the end for your garage doors. And then ceiling with the roof. A square where there's a square, a triangle where there's a triangle. Copy that exactly the same on the opposite side. windows here yeah, and then the frames behind it because oh, okay got a frame in front of it put the frames behind it because we're going to make them to sheet metal soon so now it's time to get your shell peaks done and your externals down so you want three half walls there Followed by three window frames on top of it. Triangle in the middle, which will be where your um, auto turret goes. And it looks better if you've got skins. I think you've also got a bit more room to shoot out if you've got skins as well. I'm going to copy that on the other side. The running theme in the space. And then you put two triangles there because we'll block that off uh, shortly. So now we're going to put our gatehouses down and our externals. So you want a square, two triangles, and two double door frames. And here you want a window and a window and seal it in. The best way to remember the externals is three squares out, three triangles. Delete the first triangle and delete all the way back again.
that triangle where the TC is it needs to be sheet metal. And as you can see there, I've put two half walls. On the opposite side, a full wall. And pop your TC in. And stick a window there. And then put a door on that. And to connect it up, you're going to need a triangle um, frame and three square frames. So that's it now connected. And to disconnect it, you just put a twig floor and a roof and that'll disconnect the TC. So just to reconnect it, just do, just do that. And these will all need to be uh, sheet metal. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. And I'll speed this one up for you. So now we're going to start with our um, ramp peaks. They so go on top of the shelf and everywhere there's a square. You want to put a half wall, a wall at a half height, and a square frame, and upgrade the bottom one. See what I'm doing here. I don't really need to explain it, I suppose. And they do exactly the same on the opposite side, which I'm sick of saying. And then here you pop ramps in, make sure they're facing forwards. And they're raised. You do this on all four. And then upgrade them to sheet metal. Like so. Okay, here you want a half wall. Make sure that's sheet metal as well. So it gets soft sided. And you want a roof facing towards the base. And yeah, you guessed it. I'm not even going to say it. Okay, then you want. Not that. You want a double door frame, but you don't want it above it. Okay, I, I made that harder than what it needed to be. I think you want a, door fr a double door frame on the other sides as well and then you want to put windows all around the um, ramp peaks that you've just made and you can see here now the base is really coming together now So here you want two walls, hard side facing towards you, upgrade to sheet metal if you can right now, and then the opposite peak, so 
So now we're going to start with the compound bedrooms. Square in front of the door with two frames and three triangles. Stick two windows and walls at the back. I said that the wrong way around, but you know what I mean. And this is where we put the chain link fence gate. Did I say that right? I don't know. It sounded right to me. Get into the last stages now. So here you want three uh, full walls, and you want a half wall to make a shelf with. Delete that little half wall there and put three window frames on top. Two roof triangles. And you want these two door frames there. The door frames are for stability. You can put garage doors on there if you wish to. Three walls, half wall, shelf, three windows above it. Get ahead of myself now. And here you want two low walls, because this is going to be your roof uh, take back peaks. And then we're going to stick a lid on this. Obviously a square ladder hatch. And inside here you can have a door frame, a door frame, and two windows. And whether you have garage doors here or you have normal sheet metal doors is up to you. Depends how rich you are. So you want two windows at the end and two entrances, two windows.
This will be your roof, so you might need quick access from here, so we're going to have normal sheet metal doors. And here you want the um, vending machine as far back as possible, so you can't basically get behind it. And then you can access it by taking the window off. As you can see, can't do anything with it there. So now we're going to go around the four squares with two half walls. And in the middle, a window. Or a window frame, should I say. And then you're going to put roofs on. I want triangle roofs on this part. So I'm just going to pop these in, but I will pop everything else in off camera and edit it out. So you don't have to watch me. There you go. Everything upgraded. So here we're going to put our um, wind turbine down. She really needs to go one more story higher than what I've done here. And we'll get the compound down. The compound's super easy. It's super easy, barely an inconvenience. If you know what that's from, gold star to you. Put half walls on there. And you can see, I'm not going to explain, you can see it here is absolutely perfect um, the distance between these two. And then I will put the metal barricades down on one of these and then I'll just skip through it so you don't have to watch it all. delete these back right i'll put all the rest of the compound down off camera And here is the compound completed and your base completed. Thanks for watching. Feel free to drop a comment or join the Discord if you've got any questions.